What's better than a perfectly cooked lamb cutlet? Two lamb cutlets, perfectly cooked. I think we all know these are that good, they should be illegal. Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to cook delicious lamb cutlets. Quick and easy is the name of the game today. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. I love eating lamb, and the cutlet would have to be one of my favorite cuts to eat. It is essentially a rack of lamb cut into single handheld pieces of tastiness. Sometimes called lamb lollipops or ribeyes. No matter what you call them, they're tasty. I usually won't need to trim these unless there's an excessive amount of fat, but these look good to go as is. Is it too early to like this video? I won't judge you if you pre-like it. I tend to like really punchy herb flavors on my lamb and salt and lemon work really well. So grab yourself a rub shaker and into it put some salt, lemon, pepper, rosemary, oregano, garlic and onion powder. Now just slide it across the table like you're in some sort of old western. And then just give it a good mix. Now with the cutlets on the tray, just drizzle them with some olive oil and using a basting brush, just make sure that they're all fully covered. And now just sprinkle over the seasoning we just made. I like to apply it from about 30 centimeters above. This just allows the particles of the rub time to separate before they hit the food. Now all we've got to do is flip them over and repeat that process. Now if you don't have a rub shaker, surely you've got a bowl and some fingers, use them. Today, I'm using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle and I'm pairing it up with a kettle cone because I want to be cooking at temps at 240 degrees Celsius and above today. And how I'll do that is I'll three quarter fill a chimney starter with briquettes and I'll light that up. And once they're all ashed over, I'll put the kettle cone in the centre of the charcoal grill and I'll dump all the lit briquettes into the centre. I'll then grab a pair of tongs and put all of the briquettes into the kettle cone because I missed. So I'll put the grill on and put the lid back on. I'll open all the vents and I'm gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. If you don't have a kettle cone, just use two charcoal baskets, but you will have to use a full chimney of briquettes. The grill is nice and hot, so it's time to get our lamb cutlets on. Just place the cutlets around the outermost part of the cooking grill, as this is where the high direct heat from the kettle cone is being forced. Putting the lid back on and keeping those vents wide open. Did you know Shui's Barbecue has a Facebook page filled with awesome people just like you? If you didn't know, the Weber lid vent creates a hot spot as that oxygen is forced in through the bowl vents over our food and out that lid vent. So to ensure an even cook, I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every 10 minutes. Unless you have someone in your family that likes burnt chops, then leave the lid vent where it is and give them those chops right under it. Today, I'm cooking with a high indirect heat of 240 degrees plus today. Now, larger cuts of lamb lend well to not being cooked any further than medium, but lamb cutlets can be pushed a little further for that crusty outer we all love. And by using an indirect heat source, we don't get fat flare ups like you do when you cook directly over the heat source. These cutlets will take 30 minutes to cook today, or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. I'm sure some of you will find a way to push that to a two beer cook. Wait until you see these cutlets. I remember the first time I used this method to cook them, and I was so pleased with the results. Look at that. How friggin' good do they look? I just have to stop myself from grabbing one off the grill every time I do these. Burnt fingers are a common hazard at my place. You may be new to the channel, and if you are, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And while you're there, hit that bell notification button too. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. I know you only have my reaction to go on the taste of these, but seriously, this is one of my favorite things to cook. And the aroma coming from these cutlets is out of this world. How good does that look? Flavor packed and ready to punch your mouth. Don't know what else you want out of a lamb cutlet. I think we all know these are that good, they should be illegal. There was never any doubt from my end, the flavor is off the charts. That salty herb lemon mix is just perfect for lamb cutlets. And even though we pushed them a little further, they are still juicy. As always, cheers for watching.